Uh, it's a good looking forecast and maybe a good uh, week to get out and get on the water. Today is National Canoe and Kayak Day. We're going to check back in with Fox 2's Veronica Meadows, who is live in uh, Ann Arbor. Hey, Veronica, good morning. Hey, good morning to you guys as well. We are at Delhi Metro Park in Ann Arbor going over everything you need to know for National Canoeing and Kayaking Day. Before we get out on the water, Wendy Palms, there are some very important basics and safety tips we need to go over, starting with a life jacket. Yes, good morning, Veronica. Well, yes, one of the most important things that you should do when you get in a, in a kayak or canoe on the Huron River is to put a life jacket on. We always encourage people to wear a well-fitting life, life preser preserver. Server. And so today we're going to like, yes, make sure mine's, uh, yeah. yes, make sure mine is well fitting because I think everybody knows that you need to wear a life jacket, but knowing how tight it needs to be and what exactly counts as well fitted, people may need a refresher at times. So how tight is appropriate? Yeah. So you want it to be snug. Yep, that's pretty good, Veronica. You don't want to slide out of it if you fall out of your kayak and, um, you know, you're in the water. So, right. and okay. also make sure that you're wearing that life jacket. You're not sitting on it because if you go over, then it's, it's gone. <laughs> Absolutely. So you want to be able to still kind of move, obviously still want to be able to breathe, but it should be pretty snug nice and well snug. fitting at the same time. Yep. Okay. Yep. Very cool. You have some other safety tips and some other little accessories that are good uh, to go out on the water. What do you got for us? Yeah, well, most uh, the most the biggest question that we get at the Huron River Watershed Council about the river and paddling is what is how safe is this river? And I will say that the entire pretty much the entire 104 miles of the Huron River is very gentle. It's very easy. So even beginners can paddle this river very easily. Um, there are a couple little river features. Um just here where we are at Skips in Dexter, just below us is a little bit of a rapid, um, but very gentle. And then there's another man-made um, rapid feature in Ann Arbor at Argo Pond, uh, which is also uh, a little bit of a rapid, but it's more fun than anything else. All good things to know. And you also are going to be showing us uh, some of the things that you need to know when you get in a kayak, how it should be fitted to you, that kind of thing. So kind of show us what it should look like when you get into the kayak? Yeah, so when you get into a kayak, you want to make sure that the pedals uh, fit your feet so that you can actually have pressure on your feet uh, with the pedals. And then uh, just make sure that the seat is seat back is up and you have your paddle in, in your hand and you can move around freely. Why are these pedals actually really important? They actually help you with the body mechanics. When you are paddling, you want to put pressure on the, the pedals, uh, which help you steer. Okay, so you're really using your whole body. Yes, yep, that's right. All right, Brett, handed us the paddle and everything so we can show folks really how it would look. So kind of give us the rundown. So if you take a stroke, you're going to you're gonna push with your feet while you're stroking, and that helps you remain straight or turn, whichever you wish to do. Okay, all really good things to know. So you guys, if you are going to be going out on the water, you can, again, make sure you have your well-fitting life jacket with you. You can also get a waterproof case for all of your keys or sunscreen or anything that you need. And of course, always talk to the folks who you are renting your gear from. They can really help guide you to find the experience that best suits your experience level. Stay with us. We're going out on the water in our next half hour, you guys. So lots of fun coming up this morning here in Ann Arbor. For now, we'll send it back to you.